I done found these girls on my day off. Y'all work at Hodges restaurant. I went to McDonald's and I'm at home and I hear this, help, let me out. And this girl screaming. Now we don't have it on this street because everybody on this street knows each other. So when you hear something like that, you come and run and see what's going on. I thought it was a big kid. Got attacked by a pit bull. And I look at that girl. I said, you look familiar. And I'm trying the door open and she's trying to get out and she climbed through the bottom of it. And when she saw her, she got off. She says, my name is Amanda Barrett. Call the police. And I called the police and went through some I mean, some stuff with them. You wouldn't believe that. They thought I was lying. Walk me through again what happened this afternoon. You're, you you heard screaming. I heard screaming. I meet my McDonald's. I uh, come outside. I see this girl going nuts trying to get out of the house. So I go on the porch. I go on the porch and she says, help me get out. I've been, I'm, I've been in here a long time. So, you know, I figured it's a, a domestic violence dispute. So I open the door and we can't get in that way because how the door is, it's so much that the body can't fit through, only your hand. So we kick the bottom and she comes out with the little girl and she says, call 911. My name is Amanda Berry. And did you know who that was when you when she said that? Well, she told me it didn't register until I got to call the 911. And now I'm like, I'm calling the 911 for Amanda Berry? I thought this girl was dead. You know what I mean? And, and she got on the phone and she said, yes, this is me. And the detective, uh, Cook, right here. Detective Gregory Cook says, Charles, do you know who you rescued? I said, I said. Now, and when did you see, when did you see Gina? About, about, about five. We're good. So about five minutes after the police got here. See, that girl Amanda, told the police, I ain't just the only ones, it's some more girls up in that house. So they went up there, you know, 30, 40 deep, and when they came out, it was just astonishing, because I thought they were gonna come up with nothing. How long have you lived here? I've been here a year. Okay. You should come up from, right. I barbecue with, with this dude. We eat ribs and, and whatnot, and listen to salsa music. You should come up from? And you had no indication that there was anything. Hey, bro, not a clue that that girl w was in that house, or anybody else was in there against their will, because, how he is, is I, he just comes out to his backyard, plays with the dogs, tinkering with his cars and motorcycles, goes back in the house. So he's somebody that you look and you look away because he's not doing nothing but the, the average stuff. You see what I'm saying? There's nothing exciting about him. Well, until the day. <laughs> what, was, what was your reaction on the girl's faces? I can't imagine to see the sunlight to be Bro, around people. I knew something was wrong when a little pretty white girl ran into a black man's arms. Something is wrong here. Dead giveaway. Dead no, giveaway. Charles, thank you very Dead much. Dead giveaway. Thank you very much for your time. And either she homeless or she got problems. That's the only reason why she run to a black man. Charles, thank, thank you for being there, man. Charles Ramsey, neighbor, heard the screaming, took action, went and did what he needed to do.